Hey, today we're continuing with another video on the Lambert W function. This is in a series in a playlist. I'll provide a link in the description to that playlist. And also, if you haven't checked out the introduction video, there'll be a link in the description to that as well if you want to review how the Lambert W function works. So let's get started on this problem. X to the sixth equals seven to the X. This is actually gonna be a little bit more tricky of some of the other problems just because there's a few uh, places where we can get in trouble. So to start with what I'm gonna do, let's take the natural log on both sides. So we'll have natural log X to the sixth, natural log seven, at, seven to the X. We can take this X to the front, but then we run into a little problem right off the bat. If we take this six to the front, we actually lose any possibility for negative solutions in the X. That's just because the domain of natural log is always positive. So what we'll do when we write this, we'll, we'll still bring our six to the front, but we'll write this as absolute value of X equals X ln seven. And then what we'll do is what we always do with, not with the absolute value, we'll just create two cases and handle the positive and negative X values separately. So we'll start with case one. We're gonna say X is greater than zero. And so then knowing this is zero, we can remove the absolute value sign. We'll have six ln X equals X ln seven. What I'm gonna do, let's divide each side by six X. Okay, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna get all my X values on one side and all my numeric values on the right side. Because our six, are, our, our six is gonna cancel here and our X is gonna cancel here. And then so what we'll have is one over x, ln x equals, what are we gonna have? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, ln seven over six. And then what we need to do while we're doing these problems, but keep in mind, this is our goal. This is kind of what we wanna use, which is gonna really create the simplification because we end up, the problem we would have otherwise is we would end up with, we don't, we can't isolate the x. And this allows us to do that by simplifying everything into one x value. But we need to get an e in here somewhere. So let's rewrite our one over x. So I can write this. So first of all, we can easily write this as x to the negative one power. And so when we rewrite this, let's just bring our ln x over here. And then we'll write this as ln x to the, to the minus one. Just remembering that our e and ln essentially cancels. And this is how we are able to write our x to the negative one this way. But then I wanna bring my negative one to the front. And what we notice is we're getting really close to having this symmetry that we want of our coefficient and exponent. So we're getting close to having this be the same thing as this. But one thing we need to do here is we need to multiply by a negative one in order for these to really be the same. But we'll do it on the right side as well. And so now noticing that we have our, what's in red exactly the same. We're exactly in this format we want where we have something needed to something. And so we can use the Lambert W function on both sides in order to simplify this. So we'll take it on the left and we'll take it on the right. On the left side, we're gonna pull out our minus ln x and then that's gonna equal on the right side, we'll just have Lambert W minus ln seven over six. Now what we wanna do is solve for x. So we'll multiply both sides by a minus one and then we can rewrite this as x equals e, we'll write it in this form, e to the minus w minus ln seven over six. And then of course this part is hard to calculate, but we have Wolfram Alpha or other programs. And so I calculated this on there and I got for my solution approximately uh, 1.78284. So this is a good solution, but then the question is, okay, are there other real solutions? And then, well, okay, so first of all, we haven't even checked our case two yet. So we could have other real solutions there, but we're gonna get to that later. But is there any other real solutions within this case one? And what we need to do for that is we just need to look at our Lambert W function, look at this inner value. So what I did separately is just, and I can do this with a calculator, is we can just calculate what is ln seven over six. And this is around minus 0 0.3243, so, so on and so on. And then what we notice, we go over here to our Lambert W uh, function graph, okay, and we notice, so this, this point right here lines up with minus one over E, which is about 0 0.368, sorry, minus 0 
and then this number minus 0 0.32 is greater than this. So where we're looking for our x value on the graph is right kind of in this area. And so what we notice is we have, if I go to Wolfram Alpha and I just calculate the principal value, this is how I get my 1.78 value. So by getting the principal value on Wolfram Alpha, it's gonna be somewhere around here, whatever that was. But then when we put that all the way through, we got our 1.78. But the thing to notice is there's another value right here. So we have a second real solution right there. So we can calculate that one as well. And so when I put this into Wolfram Alpha, but I want to get the negative one branch, what I got was 4.9006. So we have ourselves a second real solution using that value. So now that we have these two real solutions, let's clean it up and then let's look at case two. Case two, when x is less than zero, we can rewrite this as 6ln minus x, because then that's going to cancel it out. This will still be positive in here when we negate it like that equals x ln 7. And then we can basically do the same steps we did before, but instead of dividing by 6x, we'll divide by minus 6x. Then our 6s are going to cancel on the left. Our x's are going to cancel on the right. So we'll rewrite this ln minus x, and then we'll turn this into an, we'll create our e right here by doing the same trick and writing it as e ln to the minus x minus 1 equals minus ln 7 over 6. We'll bring this one to, minus 1 to the front again. And then again, we can just multiply by a negative 1 on both sides. This will become a plus. And then we're going to be writing the format that we want. We're going to have... Now again, noticing that what we have in red is exactly the same. We're in perfect position to do the same thing and use the number W, so we'll apply that on both the left and right. Whoops. And then we'll do it here too. And so then when we do that, on the left side, we're going to have minus ln minus x equals lambda w ln 7 over 6. Again, we'll just solve for x. We'll multiply by minus 1 on both sides, just like we did before. Um, these terms are going to cancel. And then we'll, again, use the property ln to raise this to a power of e. So we'll have minus x equals e to the minus w ln 7 over 6. We'll just multiply by minus one on both sides. And notice we have a very similar answer, but there's a big difference. You notice right now, we don't have the negative sign inside the Lambert W function. And then if you remember the graph, everything on the positive side, everything greater than zero, is gonna be just one real solution. So that means when we look up our principal value on, on Wolfram Alpha or whatever tool, that's gonna be just our one real solution. So when I did that, I got a solution this will be our third solution, minus 0 0.77719. So this is also a valid solution. And when we look at the graph, we can kind of see our three real solutions. We have we can clearly see this negative solution here with our exponential. This is we have our seven to the x function in red, and we have our x to the six, which looks like this steep parabola situation. And so, yeah, the negative, the negative 0 0.77 is pretty clear to see. And then we can see this first solution pretty well, 1.78. But what happens is these curves become so um, steep and close together that it's really hard to actually, like, find this. You really have to zoom in to find this third, the 4.9 solution. But, yep, that's it. So we have three real solutions. And we'll stop it there. I'll provide a link to the, in the description to my quiz where I got this, this was from the quiz uh, Lambert W Challenge. Thanks.